This week on the Sportsman Experience, Jim is joined by three buddies, Alex, Steven, and Shane. No, there he is. There, there, there he is. Another one. Another one. All right, ready? Thank you, that drag. Woo! There you go. They're taking off on a 70-mile run out of Charleston, South Carolina to fish the Gulf Stream, where the dolphin, otherwise known as Mahi Mahi, have been running heavily for the last few days. With Mahi on their mind, they're also going to be prepared for large billfish like blue marlin and sailfish. Fishing is a lifelong passion. The pursuit of new species and lifelong memories is why we are up before dawn and coming home salty in the evening. My name's Jim Isaac, lifelong fisherman, boat builder, and student of the water. Join us as we bring along family and friends to pursue new waters, learn new methods, and enjoy our time together outdoors. Welcome to the Sportsman Experience. Jim is down at the dock getting things prepared for tomorrow's trip offshore. A trip like this takes a good bit of planning and preparation. He's meeting his buddy Steven and heading to Toller's Cove Marina to fill up the boat. And once that's complete, the bait rigging can begin. All right, so we just picked up Steven. Um, we've got Steven on the boat and his daughter Millie. We're about to go get some fuel um, and get back to the dock and try to rig some baits. We're just out here uh, leaving from Isle of Palms and uh, heading to Toller's Cove to get some fuel. Tyler going out tomorrow? Or anybody from Hellscraft Tollers? No, a lot of guys are fishing tomorrow though. My brother's fishing today, so he'll be able to give us a good report and see what's going on. But especially slick, so it's gonna be the whole fleet out there tomorrow. I don't imagine the dolphin have gone anywhere. The bite's been so hot. Um, I would imagine we're gonna get into them pretty good. Should be a good ride though. I don't think we'll have any problems. Yeah, I'll probably just run out in the morning. If that works for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like my sleep in the morning. I know. <laughs> Get a whole I lot. couldn't get it last time. We got found it last yeah, time. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're about to pull up the Toller's fuel dock. Um, we got about 30% fuel in the boat right now. The boat holds about 330 usable gallons, so uh, we're going to be sitting here for a little bit fueling up. All right, Steven, how are we looking? Oh, half a tank, 52% right now. Both fills are rolling into one tank. We're uh, Hopefully making some way here. Yeah, it's jumping up a little bit at a time. We're filming fishing episodes for our sportsmen, so he's like a tick. He just sits on my shoulder everywhere I go. Yeah, just pretend like he's not there. Okay. All right, we're all fueled up, and uh, we're heading back to the house and ready to go tomorrow. With the boat fueled and everyone eager for a trip offshore tomorrow, Jim is going to rig up some baits and make sure they've got everything they need to have a great trip and put some fish in the boxes. All right, so we're just down here prepping the boat to fish tomorrow. Um, we're just gonna go through a couple of rigs we use. Um, we're basically just using pin rigs for these Ballyhoo, little small rubber bands. We're using a combination of like squid style heads, weighted to chugger heads. But yeah, I kind of put a variety out and then I'll just go from there depending on what, you know, what we start catching. All right, so we're gonna start this rig with a, I always do about an arm length and a half of 100 pound. Start out with a hook, you got two crimps, nose pin, and a lure. Um, so all you're gonna do is slide it through your crimp, make sure your crimp's the right size to your mono. Go through your hook eye, you're gonna go back through your crimp, come tight. You don't want it to be all the way up against the hook, you want to leave a little bit of room for it to move there. And then what I'm gonna do is take my nose pin here, I'm gonna slide it in between the two pieces of mono, and you're gonna crimp that in between the crimps here. Flip your nose pin up, your nose pin will sit right there straight up in front of the hook, not go through the ballyhoo. Once you get done with that, you're gonna take your mono, come through your lure, it depends on, you know, you can put whatever kind of lure head in here you want. Go ahead and slide it away down to the hook. This will be your loop end that you hook your swivel into from your main line. Come back, go through your crimp, come back through. Same thing, just crimp it right in the middle. Don't do it too tight, but make sure it's on the appropriate setting, appropriate crimp size. Yep, that's all there is to it. All right, so what you're gonna do, come through right between the gills on the ballyhoo. You run back where your hook comes out. Your hook eye is gonna sit kind of right below the eyes of the actual ballyhoo. You're gonna take your pin, you're gonna come up dead in the middle and you're gonna go up through the middle of the top beak till your pin comes out. Take a rubber band, you're gonna hook it over the nose pin. And what I do is I go around it once, I go around it twice and hook it back over the top of the nose pin. And you just seat your bait right down on there and you're good to go. All right, baits are all done. We're gonna take the trays, put them in the cooler, start cleaning up a little bit and we're ready to go for tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. 
With a 70 mile run ahead of them, Jim and the guys must get started before sunrise. They're already loading the boat and preparing for a long run. Let's go boys. Gonna go catch some mahi mahi, brah. We're Shane. You know Shane, late as always. Always late getting snacks. That's right. Yeah, it's always dragging behind. The guys are slow. Gotta feed the big man, right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Gotta eat. All right, welcome back everybody. We're out here, it's uh, May 17th, about 4.30 in the morning. Um, we're about to pull away from the dock. We got pretty calm conditions out there. It's like two and a half feet at eight seconds, somewhere in there. We've got Shane, Alex, and Steven here with us today fishing. Um, Hopefully we can get out there and wear out some dolphin, maybe see a billfish. Um, fishing's been really good lately, so we're gonna give it a good go. Let's get it. Woo! Yeah. Man, I'm a little bit good early morning. But I don't like it. Only thing is all the fun stuff is early. You know? Yeah. You wanna go kill a duck? You gotta wake up <laughs> early. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to get out of bed this morning though. Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're fishing on the Open 352. This is Sportsman's flagship model. This boat's built pretty much to be a fishing machine and also have a lot of family comforts as well. We have the big twin aquarium live wells in the rear for holding all your bait. Um, we also have the fold down seat that's removable, so if you want to fish, you can throw a cooler there, take the seat out. We also have the rear facing seat here. Perfect for watching bait, sitting back here when you're trolling. Um, it's a great extra seat. We've got a nice size sink and a prep station here. Ample amount of rod holders on this boat. Lots of places to store your rods. We've got four across the transom. We've got lots right here on the back of the T-top frame. All right, so coming back up here to the helm, we've got three nice release marine seats here. Nice fold down bolsters. This boat's real comfortable running out with three people in it. We've got the 22 inch Garmin's. This boat actually has the AC nice and cozy on a day like today, which is no wind. Plenty of room for three people to sit behind the glass and stay dry. Up here at the front, we have the nice Chase lounge up here. Um, perfect spot for lounging while you're trolling or while you're bottom fishing. Um, tons of room up here in the bow. You can fish pretty much all around this thing. It's great for that. All right, that's the Open 352 walkthrough and uh, we're gonna get back to some fishing. With the boat loaded down, the guys are ready to take off. Leaving before sunrise means navigating in the dark. Having knowledge of the waterways, equipment on your boat like Garmin radar systems, and professional radar training is essential to staying safe on runs like this. The sun's just coming up and the guys have found a nice weed line, lots of birds, and a ton of bait. It's time to slow the boat down, get lines in the water, and be ready to start hooking fish. When the weeds get like this, it's hard to see where they are. Try to go over to this that's side. That's why I saw the yeah. line. Uh, I was trying to make my way. And then just keep there. going. As long as we keep heading offshore like this, that's what I want to do. Just All so we right. can figure out where the fish are. We'll end up having to get through it, kind of. Yeah, see, if you look in the water, it's all submerged right here. They're back there where there's some big pads. But yeah, kind of go out here and just kind of head out that way. We just get out here. Um, ocean's super slick. There's a big weed line right here. It's still pretty submerged because it's early. But it'll come up as the heat comes up. Um, yeah, we just got lines out, so we're gonna kind of try to find our rhythm here, find our groove. Um, we're trolling offshore right now. We started at about 250 feet of water. Um, the water's still a little bit cool. It's only 71 and a half. We're looking for like 73, 74. So we're gonna try to keep going offshore until we find it. This rip's kind of heading straight offshore, so we're just trolling along it. Oh, there it is. Right, right, right. Nice fish, I'm gonna break in this 
They're right here in front of me. I heard it pop, yeah. I couldn't tell where it was. There, 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 there it is, another one. Another one. All right, All right ready? Make sure that drag. Woo! There you go. All right, slow it down. All right. So just keep it pointed straight and then back off a little bit more. All right. All right, slow it down a little bit more. All right, get him, boys. See a slinger or maybe old gaffer? Yeah. <clears throat> a boy. Nice right. fish. Nice. Awesome. Oh yeah, on the trigger head we rigged yesterday too. One in the box. Oh, you're in my ear. Oh shit. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> gave the man a piercing. Come on, Shane, don't let that thing whoop you now. All right, we got the skunk out the boat. We got the two guys that are working out over here fighting these fish. They gas out on us. We're not going to promote their program. <laughs> Pick and stick. I like it. Look at that. Pretty Look fish. That. Pretty fish. That's a good start. Nice little bull. All right, Alex, get us back up to seven knots. All right, come on. Coming back up. Springtime off the coast of South Carolina is prime time for the highly sought after mahi mahi. This flaky white fish is the perfect meat for any seafood dish from tacos to sandwiches or just a nice blackened filet. Mahi, also known as dolphin, begin to school in early to mid springtime and at times can be overwhelming for anglers as the bite is so strong. Over the last few weeks, reports have been very good and anglers have been bringing in limits daily. Jim and the guys are hopeful as they've already stuck two nice dolphin within the first few minutes. All right, so fish comes up and hits it. You pick up the rod. The fish isn't there. Go ahead and just dump him. You'll be able to feel the fish start hitting it if he comes back at it. Once he's got it, you're just going to want to slowly pull your drag forward and just come up. Don't jerk it or anything like that. Just slowly pull it forward and that'll hook the fish. If he still that missed it again, you can do it again or you can just stop. See how many times he goes back out after it. Yeah. Oh yeah, here he comes. Ready? Here he is on the long rigger. Where is he? He's right there. He just came in. He came in hot, jumping. Yeah. Here, Alex, grab this. I'll reel that in. Jim, you want me to slow down a little bit? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Just let him run with it. No, try to just give him it. Don't put too much pressure on him. Just give him in it. There you go. Yeah, the weeds suck right here. All right, slow it down just a little bit, Shane. First dolphin, eh? First dolphin. Yeah. Good. Just keep that line tight. It's a nice little workout. That's a good workout. Yeah. He's right there. Really getting in your face with that uh, camera, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's tired. Look at him. Oh, you don't wore them all out. He wants to head take a nap. There we go. Now he's gonna come in here mad as hell. Look how pretty that fish is. Oh, he's good color. There you go. He's got some excitement to him. Nice. Nice Ooh. and easy. Good job. He just fit up a whole gallon of water. <laughs> 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 There's my heat. Yeah. <laughs> hold him out a little bit. He looks more better when you hold him out. This is Hell awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Jeez, the power on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's work right there. <laughs> That's yeah, work. That was a lot of fun. Water. Well, you were hugging that thing, eh? Yeah, man. Got his first dolphin. He's happy. He's stoked. Yeah, Let's so, catch some more. We'll get some more. We just Let's came back in more. shallow, so hopefully we'll uh, get back on them again. We had a little lull there for a minute, but I think we're going to circle around this way, keep going back in shallow, and uh, trying to find a fish again. The top. All right. You got it? I'm not good. I'm good. Oh, he just jumped. Is it? Nice. Nice. Tell these people what a mahi looks like. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> there 
There you go, stick him right in the belly. No, oh, barely got him. Boy, oh, he, he about got him. Just take your teeth like this. Nice job, boys. Woo. Number four. Yeah, good yeah. size Mallies. There's a few birds over here. A couple of them. They're not necessarily the right kind, but they're they're eating on something. Look at that one, the ones in the middle are yeah. snacking hard. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah. All right. Have white. Here we go. All right, all right, let's see what else we can get. Got it? Yep. All right, bump us back with the hair. Yes, sir. All right, boys. Nice fish. Pretty fish. This old cow. Hit on the flat. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> With five dolphin on the boat and the bite slowing down, the guys have decided to head inshore to a wreck known for big red snapper, along with triggerfish, beeliners, and grouper. If they start catching red snapper, they must be released due to a federal regulated season. But anything else is fair game and just adds a variety of flavor to the box. Out of all the fish that we can catch off from bottom fishing, what is the most tasty? I think triggerfish is really good. Um, but snapper, red snapper, any kind of sna anything in the snapper family. I'd love to catch some big red snapper just to catch them. I mean, we caught a bunch last time. We caught not big, not huge ones, but we caught some nice ones. Mm -hmm. Can't keep them, right? But um, it's not the season, but triggerfish, vermilion, bee liners, it was it's all good eating. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Red snapper. Pretty fish there. What do we got? Red snapper. Red snapper. Hi. Oh, catch and release her. Oh, catch her and release her. Catch and release her. Another one. Oh, we got another one. Pretty big. The old endangered red snapper. Yeah. <laughs> First two drops on dead bait, we catch red snapper. That's a nice one right there. Yeah, that's a big that one. That is a nice one. After catching a few nice red snapper, the guys started to really get into the beeliners, also known as vermilion snapper. Something else for the box. We're looking for meat. These are a type of snapper that have no season and have a very similar taste to red snapper, making them a great species to target for lots of action and bonus meat to take home. All right, three is number four right here. That's that. <laughs> making a beeline for the box. That's right. All right. Yeah, nice beeliner. All right. You know they be tasting good. Survey says. Surface. It's a boy. Woo! Nice big old. We're on a roll. We're starting to pick up a few. So our producer Michael decides he wants to catch a few fish. He hands me the camera, he takes the rod. I get to ask him all the goofy questions he always asks me when I'm fishing. Treasure fish! Oh man. Steven's been waiting for it. Steve. Alright Michael, tell me what you think. Tell me why the trigger fish teeth but, uh, are so sharp. Down. But the wrong one. I don't know. Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about them, but they got a trigger on the back. So it's not every day the producer gets to be on camera. So I knew I would be catching a ton of grief once Jim picked it up. Now I'm feeling the pain of answering those silly questions on the fly. Just don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> What would you say would happen, Michael, if the camera were to drop? <laughs> I'd, I'd dive in. <laughs> would you? Oh, the thing's cool. done for once it gets wet. All right, Alex, come on, hold that thing in. Oh, there you go, I got some color. A big old red snapper. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you that's go. a nice one. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. My, look at that. We're bad yeah. there, huh? All right, hold them out. Like, you, like hold them out like you mean it, right? All right, now tilt the tail this way. Drop your other hand. <laughs> Drop it down. There you go. Like lower it. Bring them out. All right.
with several nice dolphin and a ton of bee liners in the box, it's time for the guys to make the long run back, get the boat cleaned up, fillet some fish, and make it home to the wives and kids for dinner. All right, everybody, we just got done cleaning the boat, cleaning the fish, put everything up. We're all about to hit the road. Everybody's hungry, tired. You know, we had a great day out there. We caught some fish. We got to bring some meat home. Everybody had a great time. Um, we had some first catch some dolphins, so what more can you ask for? You know, we had a great ride on a great boat. It's all around good experience. We'll see you guys on the next one.